what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today we got something different to look at uh, we're gonna check out this plane mechanic simulator um, I've played a couple of missions on it I don't know very much about planes but uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot um, basically the uh, repair order says that they had to put the plane through some hard maneuvers and they want us to refuel it and check the piston rings so there's something going on in there uh, but I think we're just going to go ahead and start with the refueling, get this fuel truck out of here, and uh, see what we can get done on this here. And uh, so we're going to start by refueling it. Now we just come over here and then we can fill it up right here. There we go. And done. Oops. Still not very used to the controls yet, so bear with me. I'm still trying to learn this damn game. It's a lot different than Car Mechanic Simulator. So pretty cool. I've been meaning to get back into this game and kind of check it out a little bit, but just uh, haven't done it. But there we go. Hills drive away. There he goes. We're keeping those guys up in the air. Pretty cool. All right, let's move this ladder. No, not climb it. Dang it. How do you get rid of this damn thing? Take the ladder. There we go. We'll move this out of the way. All right, so the refueling is done. Now we got to take a look at the piston rings or something. So we're going to start tearing her down here. This is a Tiger Moth aircraft. The old Tiger Moth. Uh, let's take this off. Why not? Let's get it out of the way. Uh, oh, i got to take this other side off, I think. There we go. Go ahead and take this side off too, why not? Okay, uh, I know these engines are in here like upside down. The crankshaft's way up here and the pistons are hanging underneath. It's freaking weird, man. I'm so not used to this. But we got some bolts to take out down here. And uh, we'll remove this bottom piece. quite a few bolts there we go okay uh, we'll go ahead and pull this front cover off oh we can't because the propellers in the way I think uh, dang it yeah the propellers in the way all right screw it let's go ahead and pull the prop off no oh, no <laughs> Works a di little bit different than Car Mechanic Simulator. No. You actually have to uh, just click on it and it'll unscrew it for you. You don't have to like keep clicking on every single bolt, so it's kind of weird. There we go. So now we should be able to take this off. Alright, the engine is pretty much exposed, so we're going to start by taking the exhaust pipe off and the intake, and we'll start taking the heads off, and uh, we'll see what's going on up inside this baby. But yeah, I'm kind of excited to play this some more. I, uh, 
don't know very much about planes, so I know a lot about engines, but planes not really, so we'll get to learn a little bit more about aircraft and stuff. It's kind of neat. So, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think after this video. If you want to see some more of this, I'll definitely uh, do some more of this. Uh, in order to take the intake off, we got to disassemble the carburetor and the uh, intake tube here. So we'll just take all these bolts out. Okay, there we go. Let's take the carburetor off. This is so freaking cool though, man. Weird, weird engines. All right, the intake can come off now. Got to get down to them piston rings here. Yeah, I mean, you can just clear them all and it'll just sit there and unscrew them for you. It's pretty cool. And you just kind of wait for it to finish. <laughs> so it's a little different. Cool looking engine though. Uh, we should probably take this cover off as well. Why not? There we go. Get this baby all opened up. So we got ignition wires we need to get rid of. Okay. We have some over here too. Those are the spark plugs in there. Go ahead and pull these off. Okay, the spark plugs probably gotta go. Oops. Ah. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh, what the heck is this? Go. I'm trying to get these spark plugs out. There we go. There we go. Yep, still trying to get the hang of this guy. Sorry, bear with me a little bit. No, why? I want to take the plug out only, not that. Dang it. There we go. Yeah, I must be doing something wrong. Probably some order of things. But there's the plugs on that side. There's plugs on this side also. out of here So all the plugs are out. Uh, I think we can start tearing the uh, little valve covers off down here. There we go. Oops. rocker arms and stuff pretty cool uh, but yeah let's just keep tearing this down we'll take all this stuff out till we can get down to the piston rings I don't know if it tells us which ones are actually bad or we just have to replace them I don't really know how the game works quite yet 
so we'll kind of have to figure that out together, I suspect. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I know all you do is walk up to this truck over there and order the parts you need, and then the parts are like just there. Um, and then you just put them back on, but I don't know if I've actually put them back on. Like in Car Mechanic Simulator, like if this cylinder had bad rings, you'd have to put the new rings with that cylinder. If you couldn't put them in here, it would, you know, it's weird. So I'm just wondering if that's how this game works, or you actually have to... Or it doesn't matter, you just reassemble it with the new parts, so I'm not sure. Starting to get the hang of the clicking here, sort of. There's a lot of like right clicking and then left clicking, it seems like, to go from object to object, but once I get the hang of it, I'll get faster at it. Okay, there we go. Rocker assemblies are gone. Uh, let's go ahead and pull these valves out. There we go. Okay. Okay, valves, and then let's get the cylinder heads off. Okay, there's the barrel and the pistons. Um, push rods, I think we'll have to get rid of, oh, well, maybe we can leave those in there. We, won't, we might be able to get rid of the barrels without that, but, oops, wrong button, dang it. All right, let's get back in here. Cylinder head number two going off. Oh, the sun is blinding me. <laughs> Let's go for the next one. Let's get all these heads off of here. Um, I don't know if it tells me which ones are actually bad. Like I said, I doesn't. I'm not sure how. It, I'm not really sure how the game works yet, guys. I gotta figure it out, kind of. Alright, let's get this last one off. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go back up to the front one here. So there should be... I think there's a head gasket in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. And then the barrel should slide off. There's our piston and rod. Rings on it, piston rings. Yep. All right, let's get the head gasket off. Whoop. Barrel. Ah, dang it! See, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Sorry. All right, head gasket. Barrel, uh, cylinder block, where's head gasket? Come on, I can't get the thing on it. There it is, head gasket, there it is, alright. Okay, so all the pistons are exposed now. Um, we might be able to put the prop back on it. No, maybe not. I don't know. So we could spin it over, dang it. Yeah, I probably didn't actually need to take all that apart, dang it. But whatever, we're learning. Alright, so the ring's got to go. Okay. take the rod off. Whoops. Dang it. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'm a little confused, guys. Nope. Yeah, I know. I'm not trying to take the piston off. I'm trying to get the rings off. There we go. All right, those are all the rings. I really wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to rotate the engine over. That's why I was wondering. I should I should have kept the prop on it. Maybe I'll try and put the front end of the engine back together so we can rotate it over. Okay, there we go. Now, check pistons and rings. Okay, so. It's torn apart for the most part. I don't really know what I gotta do now. See, I don't know if I just go up here. Um, broken parts. So six rings and one piston is bad. So I think we just click on those and then we sign. Whatever, there we go. Now we should have the new parts, technically, I guess. Don't, I don't think we can repair anything. We should be able to come over here and repair parts. But there's nothing we can repair right now because it's pistons and rings. Um, so I think we can just reassemble it now. Um... We should probably try and assemble the front so we can get the prop back on it and we can rotate the engine over a little bit. Might be a little harder to see in there, but... Let's get the air hub on there. Get the prop back on. See, there we go. Now we can rotate the engine over a little bit. Okay, that's put back together. All right, now we can uh, try and reassemble the pistons here. It's gonna be hard to see up in there. A lot of crap in the way. All right, let's do this one here. Let's put the rings in. Head gasket. And the cylinder head. Push valves in there. Bam! And then the rocker assembly. And the rocker bracket there. And the rocker cover. Okay, that one's assembled except for the plugs. We can just put them back in. Why not? The other one might be kind of hard to see. There it is. All right, so let's rotate the uh, propeller over. See if we can't get these two down here. There we go. That's freaking cool though. Let's get the cylinder barrel up in there. This reminds me a lot of my shovel head engine on my old bike. It looks very similar to it, except it's not in like a V shape, obviously, but. Pretty straightforward engine reassembly though, not too bad. Alright, we gotta go around to the other side to get the other plug in there. 
There we go. Okay, now we got uh, the other piston right here. It's really hard to see in here. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get these rings in here. This will be hard work working on this in real life. Trying to get all this stuff to fit all up in here. Uh, let's get the head gasket on. It's kind of hard to see. There it is. And then the cylinder head. I don't know if there's any like skill chart that you can level up on in this game. I have no idea. I just I know there's different aircraft you can work on, but I'm really not sure what this game is all about yet. I haven't I haven't seen I've seen a couple of videos of it on YouTube and I've played a few of the missions myself, but I don't really know anything about this dang game, so kind of gonna check it out together here and see how far we can get into it I know they are still working on this game there was a there was an announcement on uh, Steam about it and uh, they're currently changing something it's it's under it's under different management or something so we're gonna be changing a whole bunch of stuff about it so I don't know we'll see but let's rotate this down a little bit and get this other piston aiming down here so we can Get this back in here, put the wrist pin in, and then the rings. Okay, task completed, good. That's excellent. All primary tasks completed, good. So let's just reassemble this baby, and hopefully we can complete it. All right, cylinder head. Get it on there. Okay, spark plug. Gotta go around to the other side here. Let's get this spark plug in. Um, then we got the ignition wires. Okay, there we go. That's all good on this side. We gotta do this uh, rocker stuff down here, so let's do that real quick. Okay. And the rocker cover, there we go. So yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. And let's go ahead and put this cover back on this side here. Since we're done over here for the most part. And then we'll go back around and we'll put these wires on. Let's put this on. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I really do. <laughs> um... But she spins over, that's a good sign. So now I think we can just continue putting the intake and carb and all that stuff back on and we'll try to complete this mission here. There we go. Okay, carburetor going back on. This is all fuel stuff over here, and then we got an oiling system on the other side. I mean, I know a little bit, a little bit about airplane engines, not too much. Um, this engine's pretty basic, not much to it. Uh, let's get the exhaust manifold back on here. And uh, put all the side covers back on. I can't see anything because the stupid sun.
pretty cool, pretty cool, man. But I, man, I can't wait till we can do some like Spitfires or something cool like that. There's got to be some pretty sweet planes on here, guys. So just stay tuned. If you guys like, would like to see some more of this game, you know, shoot at me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll definitely uh, keep going with it. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's it, I think. This side, we got to put this cover on over here. Okay, there we go. And then... Got the covers here. Okay, I think that's it. Hopefully it's done. There we go, guys. She's back together. So if we uh, take a look here, it says everything is done. Um, all aircraft parts need to be installed. Yeah, what am I missing? What am I missing? All right, I think I figured it out. I when I refilled the plane earlier, I forgot to put the fuel cap back on it. Like a freaking idiot. So, there we go. I got it figured out at least. Uh, but that should we should be able to com to complete this work order now. Uh, so let's check it out really quick. But yeah, everything's checked off and now we can sign it. So let's sign this bad boy. There we go. Check pistons and rings. We feel the aircraft. Oil filled over max. What? That's bull. That is bull right there. But whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and continue the career, I guess. But that's probably going to be it for this episode, guys. I just wanted to show you guys this. Check it out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so if you guys would like to see some more Plane Mechanics Simulator, just let me know in the comments. And, um, you know, we can take a look at it uh, together. And... Uh, We'll figure some stuff out you know but there's quite a few planes to look at and uh but uh, yeah leave a comment guys let me know what you think and let me know if you'd like to see some more of these i might just do a few anyways because i have some other games i can play so uh maybe we'll take a look at this repair order in the next episode of plane mechanic simulator guys so thanks have a good one we'll see you guys in the next episode